do not message your person okay this is the tagline of this reading for a reason because i am channeling a message this message is coming from your spirit guide or your ancestors or your divine whoever you believe in i am picking up a person who is in a no contact and feeling restless to communicate with your person i think you are even typing the message and you are very overwhelmed right now and you are feeling like i can't take it anymore i am going to message this person do not do that did you got my point do not message this person now let me do, tell you the rest of the story but before i do that i must give you the warning because i have only one account divine mother's guidance with 100k plus followers in tiktok i have only one account divine mother's guidance 3500 plus followers in instagram and i have only one youtube channel let's ask talo talo please follow my youtube channel to support me if you want and also scammers steal my video and they follow you offer you a reading in dms and stuff like that i will never follow you offer you a reading and if you watch my video in any other platform less than this tiktok accounts that i told you there are many fake accounts do not interact with them outside australia paypal is the only option to book a reading with me and i only do video call reading say that saying that come to the point you are in no contact with this person it's been quite a long time you are feeling devastated you are one day doing good one day you are devastated now you are currently going to a point where you are feeling suffocated and you are feeling like no matter how they're going to react i'm going to message them please don't do it please don't do it the reason i'm saying this because the shit show you are going through you're thinking this person is doing good they are not doing good this person is going through also a lot of emotional emotional turmoil i'm look i'm stammering this this is the reason this person is also going through i don't know how to they, they want to they can't express themselves properly so what is the thing is going on within their mind it is they also want to communicate with you i'm channeling this message look i don't read cards are not everything a psychic channels the message people say what are in the cards if everybody could read cards then you just bring cards and read yourself all right listen to me carefully i'm channeling the message from your person this person was not thinking that it will be so hard from them to deal with this they try to suppress their emotions they tried their best but now this person is literally struggling just the way you are struggling but i want to remind you that this person left you they gave you the breakup they broke the relationship with you i don't know what i'm talking about i'm just because this person is also feeling through this kind of like can't process their emotion i'm just struggling to process my words so this person what happened they broke up with you because for them you are asking too much you are standing up for yourself you are talking too much you are fighting too much too much you are so they gave you no i don't want to be with you you are too much i can't deal with this relationship this is too much for me to handle i have many things to do i need to grow in my life i need to do my career and this i cannot deal with this i have many many responsibilities i cannot deal with this and they thought that leaving you is a sense of relief for them and they went through a relief they were feeling relieved and they were feeling very happy after they left you but after some time when they started they were doing like a, you might have seen them they are doing so much good apparently you might have known this information seeing their social media or some other information now what happened they were doing good and you constantly been feeling sad and depressed but you started working on yourself but still there are days when you feeling off and on but what happened to this person because this person didn't deal with their emotions they suppressed them and they were like numbing them it is hitting them back so what you are going through right now this person is also going through hell lot of emotional turmoil this is what i'm picking up on this person and i am sensing that they they might message you not directly it might be indirectly might be checking on your friends or your social media in some way if you have one if you don't have it this is a collective reading pay for a paid reading okay pay for a private reading so it's for all all people that i'm picking the energy from so for if you have the social media they are still i'm literally struggling to talk um they are trying to see on your social media what where you are up to whether you are with somebody else whether you moved on in some cases they are asking your friends or family or trying to find out information just to see whether you are still there or you moved on it is not before to contact you to get the relationship back trust me they are not even sure whether they want the relationship back so they are just trying to see find a little bit information they are being curious about you and now if you message them it will be a disaster if you really want this person back in your life 
which is your choice. I'm not asking you to do that. But if you really want this person to come back to your life, do not message them. Because let them go with the, the curiosity and all. Rather, I will tell you, disappear. Completely disappear. Disappear from the social media if you have a social media account. If you do not have a social media, no post update, no WhatsApp. Just completely disappear. So that this person's curiosity triggers them and they come forward and message you. But if they message you, do not jump up and down. Oh my gosh, why are you there? Let us go back to this relationship. No. Pull your energy back. Because some of you will get the message. But you are not going to jump up and down. You're going to stay calm. You're going to do you. Just the way you're going to react is like one of your old office colleague has reached out to you. With that coldness and warm, like, you know, coldness of heart. Whatever you just going to reply to them. Do not give them all the information about your life. Okay. But let me check what is this person thinking right now. But they are actually regretting and they are feeling like... Did I do it right? Queen of Pentacle to start with. This person might be married. You might be married too. See this. Confirms. Oh my goodness. Bottom of the deck. Four of, pen, four of Wands. See this. This fucking confusion. This card, Seven of Cups. It represents this person's mental, mental fog. It's like, I don't know what to choose. I don't know what to do. Did I do it correct? Judging their own decisions, the choices they made. Did I do it correct? Like, whatever is going on. It is, is it like, I should have done it different way. See, my, you know how much I talk. But literally, I'm struggling here. So this is the going on in this person's mind. Like, what to say? Like, did I do it correct? This person might have gone to their friends also for asking for their opinion. Like, did I, am I doing it correctly? Am I doing it, you know, in a right way? Is it correct? Because they can't let you go. They can't let you go. They thought it would be very easy for me to let them go, but they can't let you go. They are juggling emotionally. See this? This person is juggling two coins. And this emotional waves there, what are emotions? Look at the waves. So this is the waves going on in their emotion. Look at this person's face. So they are literally struggling. To balance it out. Like what did I do? Did I do it correct? Like should I keep doing this? Or I should go back to them? I don't know what to do. I'm so confused. I would say in this situation. This person did choose. Like whatever they did. There are some other family members. And other people's influences are over there. So I would say. This person might be married. Or whatever it is. It can be also related to. Some kind of commitment which this person could not give you. And also right now, it's they are seeing that you are grounded. You are doing your life. Because from internally, how much you, no matter how much you are struggling, you still, still didn't go back to them. But this person is seeing like you are so grounded. You are doing so you, like differently. You are doing your life, your career, your money. It's, it's, it's not real. Like I'm expecting this person should have come back to me begging for my attention. But what the heck is exactly going on? That is actually just put this person on the confusion. Like, am I right? Because if I was right, this person was supposed to cry back to me. But they are not crying. So that means doesn't it doesn't impact them that I'm no longer in their life. How can that this person is so nonchalant that they don't care that I'm not there in my life? So who is wrong here? Am I the wrong person? Did I do wrong? What did I miss here? So now they are going through these calculations. Somehow they are still waiting in a, in a situation that you might come back and message them. That's why I'm telling you to not message them. If you now message this person, you're going to lose this game completely. If you want them in your life back or if you want a piece of your life, mental piece back, do not message them. Keep doing what you are doing. Now, where this person is standing is like a balancing yes or no. If you message them, it will confirm that they are right. So they will give you a cold reaction and they will move on easily. Knowing that, okay, look, this person is begging back to me. So it means I am the right person. So it's proving that they are coming back to me. If I was wrong, they will never come back to me. So they came back to me. It is proving that I am right. So I'm going to stick to my decision. Break. So if you message them, this is the reaction you're going to get from them. Do not message them. I'm again and again telling you, do not message this person. They will come forward. If you let go of this situation, you'll be strong, strong and strong. This person will break down 
and they will come forward towards you and they will they might ask you for a reconciliation or some kind of they, even though they are not giving you a commitment right now again i'm telling you they're not if they come forward right now it will be a very small kind of message it's not going to be a very big thing but they might try to reconciliation but this reconciliation is not going to be a solid reconciliation right now trust me if this reading is for you so if this do not first of all number one do not message them number two if they come forward message you do not be easily available to them just pull your energy back and watch just pull your energy back keep calm and just give uh, just match their energy if they say hi after four hours message them yes how can I help? Like, or hi, something like that. How are you doing? I'm doing good. How are you? That kind of. Do not go over that. Like, you know, how is your puppy doing? How is your mommy doing? No. Because this person is still indecisive. When they see that you are showing that level of interest on them again, uh, they will run away again and they are not going to come back easily. So, if this is the energy that matches with your situation, please, if this person comes back... Just do not over... If they ask you, I want to see you. Can I meet you? Oh, no, I'm busy. Sorry, I have pre-plans. Can I just talk to you on a phone? Oh, sorry, I have... I have. Now I'm very tired or I might have work. Start pulling your energy back and focus on yourself. Give them a very little bit of energy and keep calm. When you will be thinking, oh, this person is so egotistical, they might run. Let them run because they need to run right now. They need to run right now. They need to process all those things and then be a clear mind that yes, they want to be with you. And then they, when they come back to you, that will be a real reunion. But right now, you're not going to do this shit. But again, if you watch my videos, trust me, nobody is worth fighting for except yourself. Fight for yourself. Stand up for yourself. Now you got to see the tarot reading. You, fought, you checked it. And now you got what you know this person might be thinking. Now forget about it. Now it's all about you again, okay? You might be feeling devastated right now. You might be feeling like now after seeing this reading, I believe by the by now your brain is on the right track. So keep doing you. Focus on your life. Daily affirmations. Taking care of yourself. Taking care of your physical, mental health. Start doing something new. Going to gym. Putting fucking back to the pedestal. Yourself. Nobody else. Okay? Who is important in your life? You. Who is the main character of your life? you who should you love most you right now i say again who is most important mm, you remember that so they come they go they do any bullshit you give a zero flying fuck about it you are not going to message them period l u z z g o n s a O N I P I J. These are the letters can be there in their name, your name, whoever's name, I don't care. But you are not going to message them. That's the final thing. Is that my point? Take care. Love you.